Hi, my name is Kellyn and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, hi, is Kellyn. As of recently, I've been doing a lot of Minecraft theme arts and crafts. Some of them are tutorials and some of them are just me painting. And I do so many of these over on TikTok. Well, anyway, today I'm going to be making Minecraft mob canvases. We're basically just going to paint Minecraft mob faces on these canvases. We're just going to focus on the face of the mob. We're keeping it super simple. Usually with Minecraft characters, they are made up of a ton of different multicolored pixels. But I'm going to try and keep it super simple today. So the only multicolored bits of the mobs are going to be the facial features. And then the rest of the mob is going to be one block color. I made one of these over on TikTok the other day. I made an Enderman and it turned out so cute. I literally loved this so much. So today I thought I'd try and make some other mob canvases. I've not really done this except for the one, so it could fail or it could go really well. I couldn't pick what mobs I wanted to do, but eventually I decided to do a skeleton and a magma cube. So we're doing hostile mobs today. Hostile? Is that the right word? <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this, I will happily do some of the other mobs like pigs or sheep or cows, but I'm going to be using these 20 by 20 centimeter canvases if you guys want to follow along you're welcome to it's super simple so you guys should be able to follow along but anyway i'm so excited so let's just begin hello there hands. so first of all i'm gonna grab my canvases i'm gonna be using these 20 by 20 centimeter canvases they're the deep edge canvases i actually get these from home bargains in the uk so they only cost like one pound fifty i think but i'm just starting by removing the plastic from both of the canvases that i'm gonna be using because i'm gonna be doing two today but once that's done i can pretty much get started with the painting process which I'm so excited and so nervous for. So the first thing I need to do is grab a pencil and a ruler. I'm going to be using a mechanical pencil today but if you want to do this yourself you can use any pencil. So the first thing I need to do is make a grid on the canvas because each square is going to represent a pixel. So step one of this process was making a mark every 2.5 centimeters along each side of the canvas. So this step took quite a long time. It was definitely the most time consuming part but I went ahead and just marked out these lines and then I was able to drag them down to start forming my grid. I hope that makes sense. So as you can see I dragged these lines all the way down the face of the canvas from the top to the bottom along the one side and then I flipped the canvas 90 degrees to the right and then I did it again to form my grid. Once I completed the grid on the one canvas I repeated the process once again for the second canvas until both of the canvases were gridded. Yay! So once I finished the grid on both of my canvases I could start painting my Minecraft mobs. So I went ahead and grabbed my acrylic paints and I picked out the colors that I needed. I'm gonna be working on the skeleton to begin with so I went ahead and returned to my canvas and I marked off on the canvas using X's where the facial I then grabbed are. the colors Van Dyke Brown, Celery Green, and White, and I mixed those to be a dark, dark grayish color. And I used this color to paint the skeleton's eyes and the skeleton's mouth. As you can see, I wasn't too precious about where I was painting. Like, if I went over a line, I wasn't too worried because acrylic paints are super easy to fix if you make any little mistakes. Once I was done painting the skeleton's eyes and mouth, I added a bit of white to this same grayish brown color and lightened it up and used this for the skeleton's nose. At this point, we're almost done already because we're keeping it super simple and we're not going to do every single pixel. So the next step was pretty much painting the rest of the canvas using a whitish, grayish, yellowish color. I can't really explain it, but I mixed those same colors again, but added even but more But as white. I mentioned, since we're keeping this super simple, I just went ahead and ignored all of the grid lines and just painted all of the white areas that were left, including the sides of the canvas, and then the painting was done. I absolutely adore it. It looks exactly like a skeleton, and I think it's so cute. But as you can tell, this painting didn't take me very long, so I thought it would be fun for us to do another one. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so as I mentioned at the beginning, we're going to do a magma cube. Yay! So to begin, I actually grabbed my trusty, dusty banana eraser and I actually erased some of the grid because it was a little bit intense. I then once again grabbed my acrylic paints. I grabbed crimson red and a yellow and I started by painting the yellow pixels of the eyes. There were only two yellow pixels, so I then moved on to do the orange pixels. I just mixed a little bit of red into the yellow for this <laughs> Also, if you're wondering how I know what to paint, I'm actually just looking at a reference from Google Images. All you need to type in is just Minecraft magma cube and then you can just look at one of those. But once I was done painting the two orange pixels. I moved on to paint the two red pixels which are above the orange and the yellow pixels on both sides. There's something so satisfying about painting with acrylic paint. I don't do it enough but I honestly love it so Once much. Once I was done painting the red of the eyes of the magma cube, I grabbed the same red and my Van Dyke brown and I mixed those together to make a really deep Once red. Once again I'm ignoring the grid lines completely because we're keeping it super super simple and I'm just going to be painting the background one block color. But as you can see I just went ahead and painted the whole of the background and the sides of the canvas. This bit was just so much fun. I just love painting large areas. This was definitely the most time consuming part because I found that the red paint wasn't super opaque so I had to do a few coats of this color. But as I mentioned a moment ago I finished up the painting by painting the edges which 
is super, super easy. And then the painting was complete. I'm so happy with it. I think it looks so good. I especially love this magma cube one. I think it's really cute. But as I mentioned, these didn't take me very long at all. It probably took me around an hour and a half to complete the two of them. So it's a super simple project for a really awesome result. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> I'm so happy with how these turned out. The design is super simple, but when you look at them, you're like, yeah, I know exactly what that is. It's a skeleton. You were so cute. I can't decide which of the two is my favorite. I kind of, I think this one. These were so fun and so simple. So if you guys want to see me do some more mobs, just let me know down in the comments below. I feel like some of the newer mobs would be really difficult though. Like the axolotl doesn't have a square head. So I'm not sure how I would do that, but I kind of want to do it. <laughs> but overall, I'm so happy happy with how these turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you were following along, I hope you were able to follow along okay. I can't decide what to do with these. I have a whole wall that's dedicated to my Minecraft arts and crafts in my art room. So I'll probably put them up there, but it's starting to get really full. But yeah, I'm so happy with how they turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new here, it would mean the world if you could like and subscribe because it would really help me out. You can also check out all my other social media channels down in the description box below. You can check out my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, my TikTok, my Twitch. I'm my Etsy where I sell a bunch of my arts and crafts. I sell rocks and stickers and some Minecraft things. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Normally I would say I'll see you next Friday at 5. <laughs> but I'm actually away next Friday, so I'll see you all the following Friday at 5. Bye!